Dicrosus filamentosus, the checkerboard cichlid, from South America and the Amazon basin, prefers a pH of 5 to 7 and the water must be very soft. Live and frozen food will be accepted and it grows to a maximum of about 5 centimeters. It's quite difficult to keep because it's very sensitive and RO water should probably be used to maintain this fish. Females can be extremely aggressive when guarding eggs and young, and males can be quite boisterous during mating. For this reason they require quite a large tank for their size, and should probably be kept to a species only tank. Periothalmus species, mudskippers, located Africa, India, Asia, typically inhabit mangrove swamps and prefer brackish water pH of 7 to 8.5 any of your marine salts can be used to make up this brackish water they'll feed on beetles, crickets not recommended for dried food, they will take frozen food like bloodworms, tube effects they do require a beach setup and the air within the aquarium must be quite humid they grow to around 15 centimeters long and are the longest fish and largest fish on this list. Males can be very aggressive and so they do require quite a large aquarium. Hemigramus erythrozonus, the glow light tetra. Another one from South America, and Guiana and the Essequibo River. Requires a pH of 6 to 7 and soft water, although most specimens in the hobby will be captive bred and so will tolerate a wider range. They'll take dried, frozen, live, small foods, because they are quite a small fish, and they are quite common in the hobby, so this is one that you probably have heard of. They'll grow to a maximum of about 4 to 5 centimetres, although most will be smaller than this. They should be kept in large groups, as in the wild they will be in shoals of, of 100 plus, although that's not realistic in the aquarium. They're an egg scatterer and will breed without any intervention given the right water conditions. Paro sphrominus discernerai, the licorice gourami. They're from Indonesia, specifically from Bangka in Bangka, Belitung province. This is possibly the most difficult fish on this list to keep. It requires a pH of around 3 to 6 with very soft water, usually tannin stained, although the tannins can be omitted. For this reason they're very difficult to keep, trying to maintain a pH of 3 to 6. They will only really take live foods, they can be coaxed onto taking frozen, although this has proven difficult. They'll grow to a maximum of around 4 centimeters. so they are a very small fish, they're quite timid, they're very difficult to keep, very sensitive to water changes. You should only really perform 5-10% to 10 water changes, but weekly to maintain water quality. They're a bubble nest cave spawner, and have been bred in captivity. They are listed as endangered, so any specimens you pick up should be captive bred. Pseudomugil Gertrude, Gertrude's blue eye. Quite widely distributed throughout Indonesia and Australia, Papua New Guinea, in slow moving waters. They like a pH range from 5 to 8, so quite a broad range. They feed well but do have quite a small mouth, but they will accept dried flake pellet foods. They grow to around 4 to 5 centimetres, so are suited to the smaller aquaria. They are quite timid and should be maintained as a group. They're ideal for aquascapes and are an egg scatterer. They can be housed with similar sized non-boisterous fish.